Hi, I'm Tim Gregs, and welcome to Tim Corner. And today we'll be talking about the Tim Tessic year of 1988. During that time, that's when animation made its transition from the early TV animation era, aka the Dark Age, to the animation renaissance. Disney wouldn't begin their own renaissance until a year later. During the year 1988, at the Walt Disney Studio, Disney released a live-action anime movie under the Touchstone banner starring Bob Hoskins and Christopher Lloyd called Who Framed Roger Rabbit? It revolves around a uh, toon rabbit named Roger who is framed for murder, so it's up to a toon-hating detective named Eddie Valiant to clear his name. This movie is basically what kickstarted the animation renaissance. It did extremely well at the box office, and it was loved by both the audience and the critics, especially Siskel and Ebert. The movie would win numerous awards, including a special award for animation director Richard Williams. Roger would be seen in the public eye throughout the late 80s and early 90s, and the last time we actually got to see Roger was in a live-action anime movie called Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Later on at Disney, uh, they would release a anime movie called Oliver and Company. It revolves around Oliver, an orphaned kitten who eventually became friends with Fagin and his gang of dogs, got adopted by a little girl named Jenny, and while all that is going on, Fagin is trying really hard to uh, come, come up with the money that he owes Sykes. A fantastic fact that you may not know about Oliver and Company is that it was released on the same day as The Land Before Time. And both of those films have actually done very well at the box office. However, critically, Oliver and Company received mixed reviews from both the audience and the critics, while The Land Before Time, on the other hand, was praised by critics, and some of them would prefer The Land Before Time over Oliver and Company. Over at Don Bluth's animation studio, Don Bluth and his team of animators have teamed up with George Lucas and Steven Spielberg to release an animated movie called The Land Before Time. It evolves around Littlefoot and his friends as they go on a journey to the Great Valley while also trying to avoid Sharptooth. Like I said before with Oliver and Company, The Land Before Time did really well at the box office and it was praised by critics. Um, later on, The Land Before Time would become a franchise, and the franchise would basically have about a dozen sequels and a TV show. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think that The Land Before Time franchise is actually bigger than Star Wars. Well, quantity-wise, anyway. Over at Hanna-Barbera, they have made a animated series called A Pup Named Scooby-Doo. It evolves around Scooby and the gang. Basically, the gang are like small, younger kids, while Scooby is a puppy. And they all, all of them actually go solve mysteries around Coolsville. This anime series basically uh, follows this trend where uh, you would actually have, like, kid-sized Toon Stars. A fantastic fact that you may not know about a pup named Scooby-Doo is that one of the people that, that, that have worked on the show uh, is Tom Ruger. You may know Tom as the guy who helped create uh, Tiny Toon Adventures and Animaniacs. And the question of the day is... What is your favorite movie from the 80s? Just let me know in the comment section down below with any other requests. And I'll see you next time in Tune Corner.